What's going on everybody, Super Saiyan Paul here, back at it once again with the Jack and Daxter HD Collection. Last time we finished off the Volcanic Crater, today we're going to be heading to Snowy Mountain using the Gondola. And guys, I gotta say, this is one of my favorite areas in this game. I don't know why, but it's just very memorable because Jack and Dexter had so many environments and so many things. And it's a very good contrast to the Volcanic area because this still counts as the Volcanic, I mean, the Red Sage's territory. So it's nice to know that he had a balance here while in the other areas it was kind of similar all around but here it was like fire and ice and i like that element to it so here we are and our goal here is to turn on the yellow eco vents across the globe so here we're gonna just do that and i suck at this thing hold on give me my let me get my footing oh my god freaking yetis all right so you don't have to ground pound that Button, but you do have to hit all of them, I remember, for something. I think it was for Power Cell. So we're gonna do just that. Super Saiyan Jack headed through the mountains. Killing all of the Yetis. Oh god, he's camping the freaking... Oh. Get shitted on, boy. Where are we gonna head up here, or where are we gonna go across? I think I'm gonna head over here. There's three paths, I believe. So one's through this cave. I don't want to go through the cave. And I remember some of you guys are pointing out again. Yes, I did Boggy Swamp backwards. I do that every single time. I don't know why. I have a weird habit of just playing the game I did as a kid. And um, I just follow the same exact path. And I suck at this jumping mechanism thing. Whatever this force field bullshit is. Oh my god. Okay, so, so far so good. Oh. There's my KO can ability. Maybe I can grab it and go KO can have swing! Oh yeah. Now the reason you need this is to get across here and kill a certain individual. We're here to hunt this one. So kill everything around him. He's gonna jump off. He's gonna challenge me to a fight very foolishly. Burn his shield with my fist and destroy him and his machine. Honestly, Jack. I wish we had like multiplayer to fight people with these eco powers, that would be so awesome. Even though Jack and Daxter doesn't need multiplayer, I'm just saying, like eco power-ups, you could have a very, very interesting battle there. Faster abilities, healing abilities, Kaoken abilities, and Kai Blasts. This would make for a fantastic Dragon Ball Z game. That's what I always used to say, man. There's so many references to Dragon Ball Z, and that's why I love this game so much. If only we had some level up type of stuff. I mean... Alright, I don't know if I want to head through there because I want that yellow vent to open up so I can go through there and everything. You know, I'll grab these just in case. Uh, those I can wait for. Now we're going to go back around and head through this path. Since there's nowhere else to go, really. And we're going here during the day. Now, I don't really like... Oh, don't tell me I can't get back up. I don't really like being here at night. I don't know why. It just seems better to have the, the lighting bounce off the snow and everything. So... That's why I like this. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Some people like it during the day. Some people like it during the night. I, for one, like it during the night. I mean day. Stupid snow messing with me. Let me get back on the ground. Can't make this jump without it. Can barely make the jump with it. Smack you. Ouch. It's like it freezes me up every time I do the double jump. I don't know why. It's like I wait too long and then it just stops me. All right, so this one's going to be a little tricky. You have to manipulate physics. And don't fly off. Okay, I could have flown. I could have flew right off that cliff, but I chose not to because I am Paul, the king of all super science. All right, this stupid little demon bunny is going to get it if he doesn't leave me alone. And I don't want to give him this Captain Cock. I really don't. But unfortunately, he's asking for it. He is asking for it. All of them are asking for it. These bunnies are humping everywhere. Demon lurker bunnies humping everywhere. Giving each other all these these abilities. It's so nice seeing some KO cannon abilities inside the snow. Look at that. The lighting just bouncing off the area. We need Jack and Dax to PS4. And demon bunnies everywhere. I spin for my life right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Demon bunnies. I told you I was going to kill all of them. They're trying to wreck me, but they can't stop the power of the Kale Ken. The extended range on my attacks is too much for them. I mean, if God of War Ascension, a title that didn't even need multiplayer could have multiplayer. Why can't Jack and Daxter? And I clean the entire cave out. 
that's what's up. I told you I was gonna kill these damn bunnies, but nobody listened. I told you, I don't like bunnies in my hood. It's dark in here. Hopefully, we clean that area out. Yeah. Got these things, and I hear another demon bunny. We are gonna exterminate their life. We're going to destroy their planet from space. And oh my god, Yetis. Scout fly. Smack you. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Yeah. Well, wait, wait, wait. Is everywhere clear? It's clear. Yeah. We're gonna follow this path because this leads to something very interesting, guys. The thing that I came here for. Get off of your high horse. Burn your shield. Take you out. That guy kind of looks like something out of Spyro. I don't know what it is. Um. All right, we took him out. Above us, the number one thing that really had me stumped as a kid, because remember, I've said this countless times in my other Let's Plays and in my um other videos, even if it's not a Let's Play, just randomly. I didn't have internet for a long time as a child. I didn't even have a computer until I was like in, until I was like eight or nine years old. So it was very weird to find some of these things, especially like secret locations and Easter eggs. It was very, very hard. You had to find it for yourself, and I did not see um that passageway right there through those trees when i was a kid and you would have to pick up a guide and look for that stuff or something but that was the only method i had and i didn't use that i, I, I just had to ow i just had to do it the old-fashioned way and just search every corner of every area until you found something of use so we're heading up here uh oh i don't know if i can make this jump i made it up top Actually, it doesn't make sense for me to go up here. I just wanted to get the scout fly because this path in particular, I need what I, I'm looking for. So we're going to roll, make the jump. I guess the first, pa first path I'm taking is behind these trees. Naughty Dog did a good job at hiding this area for me. And here we have these ancient precursor dildos that look completely wrong and they look like they're humping something, but okay. They're protecting something that I need fastly. Greatly, indeed. All right, so let's get across here fast. Make this jump before this thing hits me across the map. They're literally fucking you off the cliff. That's what they're literally gonna do. So I don't wanna fail here. Oh, 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 yes, we got it. And we're going for a straight run. Physics are throwing me across the thing, no! The physics with ice to air is very weird. You have to completely slow down, and now I go too slow. Third time's the charm, I got it. I finally got it. All right, we got up here. You don't want to slide down because then you're going to want to just pretty much stab your eyes out. Here we have the Yellow Eco power-up. Across the world, we will enable Yellow Eco to flow. Let's do it. We've already done this for its brother, the Blue Eco Source, in the Forbidden Jungle. And here we are in the mountains. Nice. And we did it. So, we freed both blue and yellow eco across the globe. And here we have a scout fly. I could hear it all this time. Let's head up top here. I think I was supposed to do this in the first place. Alright, we jumped. And we're gonna slide back down. Um... Okay, I managed to grab that with the very last of my abilities, and I missed one of them. God damn it. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, you freaking yeti. I will come back, and I will destroy you. Can I... Can I just... Yes! That sucked. Now I have to use these platforms to get to the very top. Because I want to be the very best. That no one ever was. All right, so we have to hit everything here. Let's start with the one in the snow, the easy one first, right? Get it out of the way before these eddies ambush me. I can hear them. They're just waiting for me. Is this the same cave I was talking about? Yes, this is the cave. So yellow eco has been activated across the globe. We didn't need red eco to be activated because it's not the most useful. It's just mainly for combat, and combat isn't really necessary. You can actually run away from most engagements in this game. Um, 
Yellow Eco is the most deadly, I would say, because of the range attack and the, the fact that it basically counts for the same amount of damage. Um, I just heard a power cell go off. So we got all of those out of the way. We still have to attack that fortress over there. And this freaking demon bunny. He's annoying the life out of me. I must evaporate its existence. Don't kill me. Alright, so here we go. Make this jump. The platforming has got significantly harder. You have to do a lot of those dodge rolls. Without that, you won't make it very far in this game. And here we have the holy yellow eco. It sounds so awesome being next to it, too. There we have a power cell. But before we grab the power cell, I want to make sure I blast the other two spots over here. Oh, crap. I don't want to take the jump shot because I, I missed and I died. Jump shots. Let's see. Yeah, this would have made more sense. It actually follows the, the enemy, too, so kind of overpowered. I don't want to miss anything. All right, we're good. Now we're going to head over here. The reason why we need this KO Ken ability was not because he wanted to take out the Yetis. It was because he wanted to come over here and take out these enemies as fast as possible. While this guy's doing something here, trying to get some precursor stuff. And another power cell for wrecking enemies. Yes. That's what's up. It's cold out here. So over there is the flood flood area. Hold on for a second before I head there. It's nighttime now, and it is when it's nighttime. The lighting shows its best. Like, look at that. It's so freaking awesome. Um, this area minus the flood flood area has all of the remaining stuff. So we already cleared out this half of the area. Let's head to the flood flood thing, get that out of the way, and invade that fortress. And we'll be done with Snowy Mountain. We can also complete most of the other parts of the game as well. So, here's my boy, the Flut Flut. Good times, right? And I really like this because it added so much gameplay diversity. Having a Flut Flut and all these platforming things. It took it to the next level because remember I told you the Boggy Swamp one was pretty easy. But regardless. One, two. Okay. Can I make this jump? This is the very peak. Don't kill me now. Okay, that was a really tough jump. I thought I was going to fail there because I've been timing things pretty wrong. Okay. So far, so good. I remember back in the day when you had to pass the controller whenever you died? Yeah, these are the moments that I hated. I absolutely hate it. And... We found some gears and stuff. I wonder what this activates. It opens the door to the fortress. And there's the door. So the flood flood came in handy. 80 power cells. Hey guys. Oh god. I've been really failing these jumps, man. But I still managed to hold on, so we got back up here. It's opened the door for us to just breach and clear. We need some bleed go somewhere around here. Doesn't look like there's any precursor orbs on the base level, so we can just head to the top and scale this little fortress. There's a power cell just standing right there in front of me. Let's go all the way up. I don't want to touch that because as soon as you touch that, you want to just jump right down. Ouch. Wait, that one's not powered. Okay, we're good. This is every power or precursor world that was supposed to be down here, and this stupid Yeti's pissing me off trying to come at me. Trying to come at me like that, bruh. Really trying to do that. Don't mess with my Super Saiyan swagger. Alright, we're gonna head back up. I could have done that last, but I'd rather not. And we're gonna follow this path, because it's a very big fortress, kind of. It's a medium sized fortress, and it has a lot of platforming stuff, so. You don't want to mess up because you have to go all the way back around. Get out of here. Look at this. Like, not even the lurkers can navigate through this. What is this for? Who's going to be in the corner of the fort? 
What are you guarding exactly? And here's some more ice physics. Oh god, for the love of Super Namek Comedy Guru! Alright, we did it. I hear a scout fly. It needs to be rescued from the demon bunnies. We're gonna push the switch. Okay, now we have the shortcut activated. Oh, thank god. Let's head up top. I hear the scout fly. Yeah, it's right here. Is that the last one? Yep. So we got seven scout flies. We got one power cell lying right there. And I think that might be it. I'm not sure. Is that the last one staring me right in the face? It looks like it. And there's only two precursor orbs. Oh, God. Please don't tell me. Please don't tell me I missed them somewhere. If I missed them somewhere, that's gonna be some shit. Especially if they're buried in the snow. That is going to be some ass. Or it could be right there next to the power cell. We don't know. But we we're about to find out. Get out of my way! Alright. No, 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 no. Oh my god. And I did watch that Jack and Daxter death battle with Ratchet and Clank. And that power that Clank has to be able to manipulate time is really damn good. But if Jack was able to separate the two, I don't know. I still say Jack would win because of his powers. Ratchet has a, a big arsenal, but I don't know if he can take on Jack's natural abilities. If he freezes time and then, like, transfers to Dark Jack behind him and stabs him, you can't stop that. He could dismantle Crank Clank as well. So, you guys tell me what you guys think. Anyway, the sun's coming up, and we gotta grab this. So now, Snowy Mountain is 100% completed. Let's get out of here. And we've also unlocked every eco vent across the world, so you guys know what that means, right? We're gonna be heading back to the mountain pass. I forgot what it was called, goddammit. The volcanic crater? No. The mountain pass. Oh, close one. Mountain pass and um the lava tube is what really gets me there. Uh let me get back out to here. Get out of my face. And see how different this area looks? I just was here like 10 minutes ago. Oh god, who's coming for the kill? So we can now leave Snowy Mountain. I don't know why, I just like the atmosphere in this area, like I said. Always love this game for that. We're gonna head back to the Mountain Pass and clean that area up, because I remember I told you guys in the last episode to go look out for some Precursor Orbs, and you guys did. And you guys are doing it while watching the episode, because some of you guys left comments and like, oh, he still got it anyway. But it's okay. Time to take care of business. All right, now that we made it back to the Zoomer in the Mountain Pass, we can take our time because nothing's trying to kill us. So it's not like we're on one quick type of dashing spree because they made us rush through both of these passes, both the Lava Tube and the Mountain Pass, simply because something was going to happen to us. Either we're going to die because they're going to beat us in the race here, or the, the heat was going to overflow and take us all out of the equation. So now that we don't have to worry, they have fast-paced music scaring me a bit. And you can see right there, if you saw it for a second, it was a power cell in the distance. And I missed these. Oh god, wow. I actually missed these? You guys are right, I did miss some. I missed five here. Ha! Huh. I wasn't gonna realize that. Things just happened to work out, so we're gonna hit this. And this rock right here, very clever. You can open up and grab this power cell. Very, very tricky, Naughty Dog. That was a very shitty move on your part. I hated stuff like that because you know how impossible it was to find things. Finding the yellow eco spot in the first place, plus trying to get to that. Insane. Anyway, guys, we have finished two areas in this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe for more. Next time, we are going to be heading to Spider Cave. And you guys know how that one goes, but hopefully we make it through without any problems. My name is Super Saint Paul, and I'm out. Peace! Yeah!